Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Playing Life with Erin, and I'm so excited you stopped by to check out this video. Thank you for being here. And if you're returning, hey, hey, how have you been? Okay, so I am happy to report it is Tuesday and it is five of one in the afternoon. I normally don't plan this late, um, but nobody warned me how addictive Gilmore Girls would be. So I'm currently on season three, episode one. Um, I was only supposed to watch one episode. I had like 15 minutes of one to watch and then it was like towards the end of the season, I guess. So it was like a cliffhanger and I'm like, well, I'm just going to watch another one. And here I am. So <clears throat> I decided to pull myself away from the Gilmore Girls because this Erin girl <laughs> needs to get her life together. And how do I do that? I plan and I make sure I know what's going on because market things and, and planning and reminders and things. That's just what I need to do. So, <laughs> and to, um, I don't know, not be so like chaotic in my mind, I guess. Cause I get like that. Okay. So what are we doing today? Um, you ask, I have no idea. Um, honesty is always the best policy. So <laughs> honestly, I don't know. I have a lot of things here. I have some coffee monster co I've got some according to Allie. Um, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I do know that I am liking and really enjoying how I've been laying it out. And I think it's going to stick with me. Um, I realized last night we had karate and I was kind of mad because I left my planner at home by accident. I didn't mean to. We were kind of like running out the door and I reached into my purse to pull out my planner to consult my schedule and also to make note of things like, um, the belt test that's going to be on Wednesday and just different little um, karate tidbits. And I didn't have it. And I was kind of sad. So um, note to self, this needs to be a purse planner. Um, so with that being said, it's been working out really good um, in the way that I've been laying it out and still being able to include like my market list and trackers and things like that. So I'm glad I had my little happy accident a couple weeks ago where I forgot to put my, or I messed up in the Hobonichi cousin and I had to add in the sleep tracker because it kind of like ignited this new layout I've got going on. And actually it's different than how I used to use it when I did use it traditionally as a planner. So win-win. Okay, back to the important things like decisions. What are we using? So I'm not quite into Halloween yet. So that we can take out. But in case you guys were wondering, this is from her September release. And unfortunately, I'm sorry to say her shop is shut down until I think she said October 3rd or 4th. Um, because she's doing some rebranding and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see the new brand and how it's going to look and all the things. So, um, I will put my link down below. I do have an affiliate link for you. Um, if you decide to shop using my this affiliate link or any affiliate link that I have listed down below. Um, I thank you in advance um, at no extra cost to you. I do earn a little bit of commission. So thank you. Thank you. It helps support the channel and bring you all of all of this. <laughs> but um, these are really cute, but I'm going to be saving these for Halloween. We do have some pumpkins and it's been feeling very fall around here. I will say um, the weather has cooled off a little bit. It's been a little rainy and cool, which I'm not a fan of the rain part and cold, but definitely getting the, the fall vibes, even though the house has already been decked out for fall for a few weeks now, but definitely really starting to feel it. <clears throat> so I do like these pumpkins. They're super cute. This is another Halloween. Oh, I love these. The Woodland character or the Woodland Wonders with the mushrooms. It's so cute. And then this is her amazing alcohol ink that I absolutely adore. This is in purple and black. So this is a bit more Halloween, but these copper ones are definitely fall vibes, but maybe too big for in here um, for the things that I've been doing. And then we have Halloween quotes too. Oh, I can't wait to decorate for Halloween. Spooky season is definitely my favorite, but I think right now we're going to stick with the fall vibes. Um, and then this one too, vintage library. So cute. I especially love the typewriter. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't think I'm going to use the alcohol inks in this because I feel like even though, oh, well, you can cover the things. Mm. So these are really great because they're matte and they are clear and you can put them on top of things, but then I wouldn't be able to fill out my tracker. So we're going to say no to those. I feel like I need a bigger palette for that. Um, Woodland 
Wonders is super cute. Maybe we use this. I especially like the little porcupine. Or is that a hedgehog? I don't know. He's cute though. And a little skunk. Maybe we go with this one. This one's kind of cute. Um, pumpkins are always good. And then we have a couple of um, autumn quotes. What did I pull out for the Coffee Monster Co? I think I kind of just grabbed a lot of my fall emojis and yeah, that's what these are. Can't have too many of these. And obviously you can see I used them all. These are from last season. And then I also kept out my Hobonichi cousin. Um, this one is from last year, actually. This is the autumn emoji kit for the cousin. So what I was thinking was maybe I would use some of these boxes for the spread. With that being said, these match kind of nice. So guys, I think we got it. All right, so let's do this. And then for washi, what do we do? What do we do for washi? I, I always use black and white grid. Um, do I have, I do have, if I can find it, a lot of grid washi in case you guys were wondering I kind of like grid <laughs> I like plaid too apparently I just said it to Joe the other night I'm like oh I love plaid I kind of like it okay so do we go for all right these come from the washi tape shop I believe this one will look really great and I have a love hate for this washi tape I love it because it's beautiful but I hate it because it's got a back to it and it's always difficult for me to get it off but I think I think it's worth it because I think it looks great with this spread. So we're going to go for it and we're going to make it work. Okay. Now we're good. I think we have some colors. Of course, we'll bring in those two. There is a little green in here. Maybe do we want to bring in green also? Maybe we do these two. All right. So maybe the Tombow selection will have to narrow it down. All right. So what I'm thinking is we'll bring in Tombow 947. This has been a go-to. I've kept it in my desk pencil case. This one has also been a very nice obsession of mine. This one is Tombow 026. And then this green is Tombow 158. Hopefully I'm like in frame and it's focused because I don't have my glasses on. So everything looks blurry to me. <laughs> we should change that. Let's get those out, right? Okay. So we've got my pencil. I have a ruler and then I've got some pens. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? Hmm. All right, guys. I don't think I've shared these with you guys on here. Um, I purchased these Zebra Sarasa Clips. These are, they have stickers on them. They're well love pens. <laughs> Tell me you're a planner without telling me you're a planner. <laughs> stickers everywhere. Okay, so I don't know what the colors are. I'm trying to see if there's something on here that says the color i don't know i got them off amazon they are um beautiful like 100,000 percent i love these colors and i know that i say i don't like to plan or write with colors i normally don't um but i have been trying to be like outside the box and like push myself into that uncomfortable zone and i've realized it's not so bad um i've been journaling a lot with these I especially love these two colors. This is a brown. This is a really pretty brown, but I have other browns also, so it's not like new, if that makes sense. But these two are beautiful. I absolutely adore them. And what I really love about them is they have coffee cups on them and coffee beans. Like they just screamed my name. I will link them down below. I did get them off um, Amazon. So in case you're interested, I'm not sure if they have any left. I think when I purchased them, there was only a few left. And I'm not sure if that's like a trick Amazon does to make you buy something, but I don't know. It works. Anywho, I think this mustard color will look really good. So we're going to do it, guys. So you're seeing it here first. Erin is planning with something other than like black or brown. Well, I guess I used brown last week. And then I tried to use the, what is it? Night, day to night or something from <laughs> Coffee Monster Co., which it actually came out pretty good. It looks good. Um, but this is going to look, I think this is going to match really well. Okay. All right. Now let's get to the fun part. Let's get to the planning part. Let's start with some washi down at the bottom. And I think the way that I'm going to do this is that I will rip it off and then peel 
This one's already done. So this, this won't be easy. And then I will pull you guys down once I get this washi down. It's so pretty. It came in a set. There was a bunch of them. Um, and they're all just like beautiful neutrals. But like I said, I, I kind of get mad at the backing. Um, but it's great washi. <laughs> if you can get past the backing part. Okay, so here's how I make it past the backing part. I just kind of pull it up with my knife. And it works. I don't know why I'm so afraid of this one. Okay, so I'll put this down here. Ooh, I love it already. Okay, now when I was kind of like looking at it before, I was thinking that this tree log would be great. Like, how? what if we did it right in the middle? Kind of like folded it in there? Because there isn't... I still have space on Sunday. We do have a couple of things happening. We've got like a a race thing or something at the kids' school. And then I have a lunch date with a friend or a dinner date. I don't even know. I don't think we worked out the details. We just know, I, I just think we're getting truffle fries <laughs> because I was like, mm, that sounds good. I'm kind of wondering if I want to mark it here or the way that I've been doing it. Hmm, I think we're gonna keep it the same for this week. And I'm happy to report, now I know I say I don't normally like using pencil for my lines. And that, that is still true-ish. Hold on, I didn't fill it in with black line. That is pencil, okay. And it wasn't too bad, I wasn't mad at it. Oh, I don't know, I can't do it. I will draw the um, my high-low chart though in, in pencil because I still haven't perfected that. And this is just connecting some dots together. And if you're new to Hobony Two Weeks, um, I will hold it up to the camera so you can see it a bit better. What they do is it comes with these pre-marked dots. Like, so it can section it off so you can do morning, noon, and night. Or I like to um, have a section for, like, important things. And then just kind of, like, a day-to-day, -day, like, what's happening, what I need to do kind of thing. And then on this side of the page, you also have another darker line. It's a really great setup. Um, I love, I love my Hope Need Two Weeks. Like I say all the time, it is my small but mighty planner. Okay, I'm missing something. Oh, I keep them in here. Ah. Okay, so these tiny icons, um, I went looking for them. I didn't realize it, but I think these were a freebie when I did the birthday order. I'm really, really hoping she brings something like this to the shop. Even if it's just a sampler page like this, I think it'd be great. And also it works great for my, my mood tracker. So I might be a little like, you know, <laughs> please, Ellen, please. <laughs> um, but um, right now I have more than enough to last me for a little bit. So I'm kind of excited about that. And I also went in to go see if I could find some cloudy rainy day ones and they're not available yet. So, um, as she creates more, I will be purchasing more, but these have been working great. We just stopped having rain, uh, sunny days. So, I mean, I guess it couldn't last forever, but okay. So we've got that and I'm going to put in some boxes, I think for, the important things that I already know that are happening. So this way I can kind of decorate around that. And we had karate on Monday. We have karate on Wednesday. And then let's see, I'm trying to keep it like with the orange and not bring in the turquoise. So we've got, this is a really pretty one. On Wednesday, we also have open house. I have a lot going on this week. It's actually really nice. And then I think I want to use this bubble for the concert we're going to on Thursday. Um, and then what else do I need to mark? Saturday we have dance. So let's use this guy. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put it over here. I was going to cut it and do some sticker surgery, but I don't think we need to. I think that looks good like that. Um, and then Sunday we have the race and I have dinner plans. So how do we want to do that? Let's see. What else do I have? Let's use this guy. And let's do... Let's cut this one. 
Let's do some sticker surgery on this guy. And all I do is I just cut off a small piece and then we're gonna connect it back together again. Just so we can shorten it a bit and no one will know. Don't tell them, okay? This is our secret. Perfect. Um, and then for the concert, maybe I'll just do like a highlight or something. And not the concert, the my um, dinner date, lunch date. I don't even know. Um, I do have, we'll get to that. I think I have like girls night out emojis that I can put over there too. Okay. Off to a great start. Now that I have this stuff down, I can start putting in some of these decorations and just kind of, I like to have what I need down first. Let's do productive before we do decorative. Okay, I love these leaves, so pretty. There's a lot of orange right there. So let's put this here and then let's throw in maybe one of these flowers just to kind of get a few more colors on the page. I do love this deer. I think deer are like my spirit animal. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel very connected to deer. Okay. That's gonna cover September a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I think for the days of the week, I wanna add in some green because this is the only green that I'm gonna have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight the days of the week since I don't have day of the week covers and that's okay. I just like to be a little extra sometimes. So we'll do that. And Friday, do we have something Friday? I feel like we do. But I don't, I can't remember. I think it's just Joe's going to be out of work. I think that's why I'm thinking of that. Let's do some of these little acorns. I love these stickers. They're so cute. I'm actually going to put it here so I can mark Joe's day off. And then, idea, we're going to put it down here also to mark my little dinner date. That works. I like that. Okay. And I have this whole section. I do love this fox. It's a lot of, I feel like the fox would look really great down here. Maybe let's try it. So pretty. Willow reminds me of a fox. So what if I did the fox there and we'll just trim off the tail. Sorry, buddy. There's just something about a sticker that I like cut off at the edge of the paper. I just love the way it looks. I don't know. Let me know if you like that at all. I'm, I'm weird. I will say I am very weird. Okay. Let's do my mood tracker and then we will continue with some more deco. Now, how did I do this? Um, start with happy. I do need, all right, so I went in two blocks. Now what color, I kind of like, I wanna do it in this color. It's just screaming fall, I love it. I'm very excited. So these aren't like the, necessarily the proper emotions, <laughs> but I know what they are. So I usually do happy, anxious, baseline. And then I do angry and um, tired. So it's just to help keep track of maybe how I'm feeling in a day. I have been thoroughly enjoying tracking my mood. Um, it helps out with my migraine situation, which has been very good, I will report. Um, especially for this time of the year for me. I hope I'm not, I should knock on wood. Um, because usually the change in the temperature can play a huge role in how I'm doing with my migraines and typically around fall or spring until we kind of like level off into like winter or um, summer, my migraines tend to increase but I'm happy to report granted we're only in September but so far so good I've been good but that looks so cute all right so let's do um okay we're gonna do it with this pen I don't pull you guys down a little bit because it is light and I'm hoping it shows up on camera I just absolutely love 
the way I, I don't think I've ever used the Sarasa clip before. Um, it dries fairly fast, but I have learned in my years of Hobonichi use, um, just don't touch it. <laughs> try not to touch it until, try not to touch it until it's dry. We're going to do, should we do, oh, let's use the brown one Might as well. Nope, that's not the brown one. Um, and even then, accidents happen, and I've just decided to be okay with it. But I think, let's, yeah, I mean, it dries pretty fast. I think um, I would compare it to Sarasa Dry, maybe? I mean, that one dries pretty, pretty fast. But I did do a pen test with these, and... I don't think there's really any pen, unless you know of one, um, that just dries like instantly on the Hobonichi on the Toma River, Toma River paper. Um, some take forever and some dry a bit faster. So just be aware if you've never used or worked with Toma River paper. But so far these pens get the stamp of approval for me. <laughs> All right, so we've got mood tracker and then we're gonna do a sleep tracker. So let's do green. I think it'd be nice to pull in some more green on this side. So we'll do green for my sleep tracker. And how did I do it? I think I started with like the crazy idea of eight hours of sleep. That's never gonna happen, but you never know, I guess. I definitely need to find my way to bed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. Um, I have a hard time with that at night, but that's okay. All right. And then this is sleep. Ooh, I think I chose very nicely for this pen color. Very excited. Okay, now we're gonna do my high and low section. I was able to fit all seven days, so that is good. And we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes down. So this is what we're doing for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, just wanna know where I'm supposed to be putting my line. I'm tempted to use my pen, but I'm not sure how that would go. So we're going to stick with the pencil until I am a professional at this. Okay. And then how many boxes? One, two, three, four. Okay. Four down. One, two, three, four. All right. And I just use this section for a high and a low for my week, one, two, three, four, or for the day, I should say. I was using this whole column over here, like where this line is, but then I figured out this is actually a little bit better than utilizing my space. And also points for just designing something. Oh, did I skip one? Hi, one, two, three, four. So it's already like a little dark line here, so. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I actually, I've always wanted to like do bullet journaling. I've wanted to like do um, like trackers and stuff. And I never think that I do a good job. So I say practice. And this is a great way to practice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think this little tree stump over here is yeah, it works. One, two, three, four, and then we'll just cut it off here and it should be fine. The one problem, oh, okay. I kind of made it a little not straight in some sections, but I think it'll be all right. We'll just put this like that. And what color should this one be? Let's do, let's do brown. We haven't done the brown yet. So we'll do, the low will be in brown and the high will be in this pretty yellow color. It's so windy out. It started off really sunny and pretty, and now it's like getting cloudy or cloudier. 
and windy. I just really hope it's not going to be raining for pickup. And I totally put these in the wrong spot, but that's all right. See, it's fine. Okay. I just gave myself more room for the high. I'm just assuming I'm going to have a very good week. That's all. Which most of the time I do. There usually isn't too much to complain about. Okay. Good. And then we're going to do a little important section because I did like that. And then especially like with the West, um, West Belt Test next week. So I already had it marked in there. So then I can just kind of like look and transfer it. So let's do, maybe we should do it down here. I've got my market list. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit the deer. Or maybe I can. Can I like fit it? Be nice if I could put it here. Actually, you know what? I might be able to cover up Sunday a little bit. How do we feel about that, guys? I'm not sure. So we're going to wait. We're going to put the little deer off to the side for a minute. And let's do important... I feel like I need something there. That's why I'm like, hmm, why don't we do, I like this leaf. What if, let's clean off my scissors. I'm trying to get better with that. Okay, hold on. There we go. What if we cut this? I think there's still stuff stuck to my scissors. I am so bad with my scissors and cleaning them. I think this will look cute. And then we could do another one over here. No, let's do it over here. Oh, I like that. And then let's do flower maybe. Can we do that right here? That's not terrible. Let's go with it. All right, I'm gonna use brown. And this will be for my important things. I'm just gonna start with three. I don't know if there's anything crazy going on next week that I need to remember. Okay, and we will do our market list. That I think I'm gonna do in this pretty yellow color. But, but, let's add something on this side to kind of fill this in a little bit. Let's do some of these super pretty leaves and kind of like have them. We're gonna leave enough room for one, two more. So I can do one here and then these flowers are really pretty too. So let's do one there. Okay. I like it. And my market list will go here. <clears throat> I'm going to do my market list off camera. I have a weird list this week. I was looking at it. So I, I just used my like post-it from my counter and it's like, we need paprika, coriander, ice cream cones. Um, M&M's, butter. It's a very strange market list this week. I got a lot of like staples last week and stocked up, but it's like random things. Like I went to make, I make this dinner pork goulash, like Mark's, um, and Mark's fall for us in the Heinzel house. And, um, I forgot, I, well, I didn't have coriander, which I needed for the recipe. I totally forgot the sour cream. I thought I had some. So that wouldn't be our first fall dish of the year if I didn't forget these things. Okay. Um. So West Head Karate, we'll just put that in here. Wes Karate. And I'm using the brown one because I'm not sure. I don't think this like mustardy color one will show up on these. Um, and then we have Wes Belt Test. I'm excited for him. That's tomorrow. Um, and open house. All right. I'm going to try it with this one. Let's see if it works. I'll play you guys in just a little bit more. I don't know. I think, yes, it does. So we've got open house at the school. 
And then we have the Marley Brothers. I'm so excited for this concert. It's going to be raining. It's going to be cold. It's going to be great. Also, it's going to be really strange because um, normally, I think I want to put this down here. Normally, when we go to see reggae, we go in the summertime. It's like some sort of summer festival or whatever. The last one we went to was this festival called Levitate. And it was in Massachusetts. It was five years ago now, maybe. It was 2019. So yeah, I guess it was five years ago. Um, and it was summertime. We went in like the middle of July. It was great. Um, so this is different that it's going to be a fall reggae concert, but I am here for it. We typically, we try to go every few years. It's a thing with Joe and I, um, and it's a great thing, <laughs> but we really love Damian Marley. We love Stephen Marley. So it's going to be fun in the rain, in the cold, but it'll be great. Like my mom was like, um, <laughs> she was like, I'm worried about mosquitoes because there's a lot of Tripoli and West Nile right now in Massachusetts, I guess, like more than normal. Um, and I'm like, I'm not worried. And she's like, but, but why? Cause that's where the concert is. It's in, um, it's in Massachusetts. And I'm like, because I'm going to have pants on and a sweatshirt and probably a rain jacket and a hat. Um, so I'm, I don't think the mosquitoes can get to me. <laughs> and Joe was like, also there's lots of people. I'm like, right. There's also that. So, um, I think it'll be fine. We, I was smart, though. I waited until last week to order the tickets because I wanted to see what the weather was going to be like. You know, call me crazy, but I just needed, I needed to know. Um, because, obviously, lawn seats that aren't covered are going to be cheaper. You know, it's kind of like more like a general admission type cost. I have been to this particular venue. It was one of my very first concerts. My very first concert was New Kids on the Block. Don't tease. Um, but I'm sure it was many of our <laughs> first concerts if you're as old as I am. But my second first concert was um, the Cranberries and Dave Matthews Band. And it was great, but it also rained and we had lawn seats and it was not the best, but I was also like 13. So 13 year old me was only, mm, it's okay. Yay, it's raining. You know, I'm still able to see the beauty and the adventure and, you know, put one of those what are they called? The parkas, parkas, the rain, the rain jackets that you buy, the plastic ones, um, and enjoy myself thoroughly, which I did. I went with my friend and her dad because we were 13. Um, but at the age that I'm at now, I'm not a fan of the rain and I'm not a fan of cold rain. So I'm very happy that they had some covered seats available and also they were a great price. So I was very excited about that. All right. So we have race. I'm just going to write race at school um it's very early so I, I don't know how badly Spencer wants to go so I need to find that out from her without actually telling her or asking her I know that sounds terrible <laughs> hey do you want to go to the race I'm just not going to tell you what race or why no we say we're I think one of the years they didn't do it last year maybe it's like kind of like a color run I guess I don't know um one of the years we missed it because, because why? Why did we miss it? Um, I want to say that I just didn't know what time it was because that's what my gut is telling me. And then the next year was like COVID and then they didn't, so they didn't do it. So I kind of felt bad. Um, <laughs> but, um, ooh, I feel like I should put this here. Let's do it, guys. Just to add a little, a little more of this around the page because I like it. Um, I know what year it is, so let's cover that. Ooh, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm very excited right now. I do feel like I need my girls' night out emoji though. So let's find that. But yeah, so I felt bad. We kind of missed it, and then they didn't do it for a couple of years, and now they're doing it again. So I would like to maybe try to go. I don't know. It's early. It's Sunday. <laughs> I get up early every day. I'm up before five o'clock and Saturday and Sunday are kind of like my one times to like not be awake. I don't know. 
All right, we're gonna put this there and I'm actually gonna move my acorn. And we're gonna put it over here. I like that better. And then we'll write in, um, girls night. Where's it say night? I don't even know what time we're going. Okay. What else is happening this week? Joe no work, Marley Bros concert. What's happening today? Tomorrow we have Spencer needs to remember her cello. This is going to be interesting, guys. I have two cellos so I have to fit in my car. Mm-hmm. We'll see how this works out. All right, and Spencer cello. Today, um, I haven't really got much of anything done, but I did the dishes. So we're just going to write in some things. Dishes, um, email. I had to email my doctor. I'm not sure. I, I I think I told you guys. I got bit by a mosquito. Um, probably like a month ago now, or so, at least three weeks. And because of where it was in my thigh, I think like I think I scratched it and like I don't know, got infected. So my luck, yay. Um, and I started an antibiotic last week, and much much improvement, <laughs> thankfully. Um. But it's still kind of like, do I want to put that down there? I kind of like it down there. It's still a little like bumpy. Like there's still like a bump in the middle. Um, definitely doesn't hurt anymore. It's a little itchy, not as bad as it was a couple of days ago. And today was my last day of my antibiotic. So I'm not sure um, if it's like okay, like if I need to, I don't know be on more medicine I think it's okay but I definitely want to email the doctor to find out um what else we're gonna write in here Gilmore Girls because that's what we did a lot of today Gilmore Girls um into the dishes oh yeah bathroom and market orders and budgeting. That's something I need to take a look at today. Since I have like completely avoided all responsibilities, go me. <laughs> and I don't feel bad about it. So that's a plus. All right. Um, kind of want to put this here. Oh, I love this guys. This is just screaming fall. Love it. Do I want to use any more? I feel like I want to use another one of these mushrooms since I have one there. I feel like I want to use one here. Like that. Or like that. Like that. Yes, let's do it. I absolutely love how last week's came out. I used a combination of Planner Monkey Co. and the Coffee Monster Co. Gorgeous. So cute. Made me very happy every time I, I went into my planner. Um, and also I put in an order for, um, Planner Monkey, Planner Monkey Co. It's my first one. I'm very excited. Okay. Do we need anything else on here? I think maybe, I think that we're good, but I, I almost feel like we need a leaf in here. So like, what if I did that? Cause I don't want to put the whole leaf on there and then use the other piece somewhere else where I don't know but let's find out let's figure it out we could do it over here it's actually not terrible so we'll do that and then maybe we need something here but what I don't know I'm trying to kind of keep like the color like I think these would look great for another spread and I don't know this gunk is super cute Let's use this last. Yesterday already happened, so we can just put that there. All right, I like this. And I still have plenty of room to write out all my things. This spread or this layout, the way I've been using it, is definitely two thumbs up for me. So let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. A lot of you have said that you like it this way, and it's a nice change. So I'm happy to hear that. Um, yeah, I'm definitely liking it though. And then I have plans for the master to-do list. So stay tuned for that um, when I get my 
I have a few more things coming in. Nothing crazy, but once I receive those things, then we'll do a planner lineup for 2025. I'm like so ready to share it with you guys, but um, I don't have all the things yet. So once we get the things, we will do the sharing. <laughs> all right, guys, let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this. Um, if you are not subscribed to the channel and it's something you're thinking about doing, go ahead and do that now so you don't forget. And then hit that little bell notification so you're notified anytime we come out with something new here on the channel, which there's going to be a lot of stuff happening. We're in planner season and we're in holiday season, so it is time for all the good stuff. So if you're into Hobonichi's, um, I don't know, journaling, planning, stickers, unboxing, all the things, this is the channel for you. So definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video or any other video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. And I thank you very much for all of the support. And as always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come and hang out with me. I know we're all busy. So thank you. Thank you. And until I see you again, have a beautiful week and keep planning. Bye.